Thank Fox you. News first reported St. Louis-based Stiefel gave Barclays Wealth Management Brokers 72 hours to accept its offer. So have they sealed the deal? Fox Business's senior correspondent Charlie Gasparino is here to tell us exactly what they're waiting for. Well, I, I will say this. I'm always hesitant to say a deal is sealed until you see the press release, and only because due diligence at the last minute has also often scuttled deals. You know, you find right. something you don't like, you see some liability you don't have, and I, I think there's going to be a weekend of that. But for all intents and purposes, at least according to the people I like to talk to, very close to Stiefel, Stiefel Nicholas, and very close to the people at, at Barclays Wealth Management Unit, that this thing is done. The only, the only thing that needs to be uh, hammered out is the price and that will come sometime after close of business today when uh, Stiefel, Stiefel, I keep, keep mispronouncing the name, Stiefel uh, finds all the brokers that stayed, decided to stay, they know exactly what they're buying and then the price will be, the price will be probably somewhere in a, in a matter of $300 million to $500 million and there'll be retention bonuses. So here's what we have here. We basically have Stiefel Nicholas, or Stiefel it's called out. They dropped the Nicholas, yeah. run by Ron Krzyzewski, one of the more dynamic executives on Wall Street that no one's ever heard of, uh, building what is a rival to major Wall Street firms in terms of wealth management and dealing with small investors. Uh, 3,000 brokers, it's not quite the 18,000 that Morgan Stanley has, but he is, by, by a series of small acquisitions like this over the past, I would say, five years, he has quietly built a pretty big nationwide firm. And, you know, in my view, there's no, there's, you know, he's, he's one big merger away. Say UBS wants to sell its 8,000 yeah. to him or he wants to merge with them to be running, you know, a firm that is up there with the Morgan Stanleys and the, and the Merrill Lynch's who are like the, the, the top, the gold standard in, in this business of dealing with small investors. So Monday, likely, deal gets announced. I only say likely because you never know what they're going to find at the last minute. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, we should be reporting Monday that this is a done deal. And we, we brought it to you first. This is the old Lehman Brothers brokerage firm. One right. of the last vestiges of Lehman Brothers left at Barclays. Barclays brought Lehman Brothers back in 2008 during the financial crisis. They kept their brokerage department. It was kind of an independent unit inside Barclays. A lot of people not happy there, though, right? I mean, no. how do they feel about this deal? Um, I, well, we'll see. We'll see who stay. I, you know, listen, yeah. the grass is always green at the other side. Uh, Stiefel's not a bad place to work. Ron's a dynamic guy. We'll see what happens. It'll be interesting on Monday to see the fallout of this. Now, why does this matter to small investors? Well, you know, it's where your broker works. Uh, we should point out that where your broker works determines what type of product you get, meaning what type of investments. Where, where they're going to trade. Can they, you know, one of the interesting facets of this deal is that they're going to get some sort of deal flow from Barclays. Like Barclays will be giving them, when they, when they underwrite a, a, a big, a big mm -hmm. stock deal, an IPO that maybe small investors want, uh, the stifled brokers will be able to get, get that if it's a Barclays origination. So that's why it matters to the small investor for Wall Street. It's, it's a big story because Stifle is building a powerhouse in the Midwest. That's interesting. All right, Charlie Gasparino, okay. thank you so much.